Over the last few months of Russell Kieran's long and difficult battle with dementia, his wife Dulcie kept a journal to help her make it through. One day we were just talking and I asked him how he felt when he got frightened. And uh, he said, it's like a dark place. He said, I get so confused. He said, and it's just like a dark place. They'd been together for 63 years, building their home in Albury in southern New South Wales. Good. We had a really good life. Yeah. We had our ups and downs, like everybody, but uh, we had a really marvellous life. But about six years ago, Russell began to change. We sort of didn't realise for a long time that he was really, that was dementia. He'd wander a lot, but then he got to the stage where he, uh, uh, he was quite abusive. Which was right out of character for him. Yeah, right out of character for us because he wasn't an abusive person. So Dulcie sent out an SOS to Catherine Buckley. Catherine was the most amazing person. She helped me and many others. Whenever you needed advice, you could always ring Catherine up. And Catherine didn't only give you advice, she used to come and visit Russell. He'd really enjoy Catherine's visits. I found that talking to Catherine was the most amazing thing. I had no one else to talk to. I had no one to depend on. And how are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thanks. Good. Catherine Buckley is a rural and remote consultant working with the Dementia Behaviour Management Advisory yeah. Services, DBMAS, operated seat. in New South Wales that by Hammond Care. Wobbly, oh, okay. So how have you been? Oh, pretty good. I'm back dancing, and oh, so which is good. DBMAS is a national program funded by the Australian Government. Consultants like Catherine provide short-term clinical support for people who are demonstrating behavioural and psychological symptoms of dementia. Over the phone information and advice and support is very helpful but sometimes you know you need that face-to-face -face contact. People need to make a connection with you um, and when we're working with people with a diagnosis of dementia and their loved ones it's really about working in partnership. So we're not working for the person, we're working with them. Catherine is backed by Hammond Care's experience, expertise and research into dementia over more than two decades. I think the carer needs as much care, but people don't seem to think about that. It's, it's all about the patient. Which is understandable, yeah. but the carer yeah. is still there for yeah. this. Because the carer doesn't get any sleep, and that's when the Catherines come in handy. <laughs> because you can ring them, ring, I used to ring Catherine up after I had a bad night, and. Uh, you know, some mornings and have a chat. And she meant a lot to you, didn't she? Yeah, and it was such a help. It's when you head out of a regional town like Albury that you can really see another entire dimension to DB Mass. Jeanette Earth says it can be really distressing feeling the isolation of both being in need and out of town. Jeanette has been married to Blackie for 56 years. They'd lived life to the full running a number of businesses. Blackie owned, trained and bred racehorses and was a top regional cricketer. Just over 10 years ago, he started to show signs of Alzheimer's disease. And after a couple of years, a diagnosis was confirmed. So what was it like for you? Oh, I was devastated. I couldn't work out what was going on. I, you know, I thought, this is quite strange. In the end, I wondered if it was me or him. You know, it's, it was really difficult. And as the condition advanced, Blackie started to wander away from home. In a panic, Jeanette also got in touch with Catherine. Well, she's been a wonderful support, you know. Blackie has started to wander away a bit and I, I got very distressed about that because one day I found him up on the 100k road and I was frightened he'd get run over. So I came in and rang Catherine up in and she said, told me what to do, how to handle it. Because I ring up in a bit of a state and she sort of calms me down first and, um, and then it's helped me no end, really. Because you feel so alone and isolated when things like 
this happen. We might refer on for other services to become involved um, and particularly people um, that are living with this disease and supporting someone with a disease, it can be quite isolating. And so when you have that local ground knowledge of um, services that are available, we then you know, might link them in and, and provide them access and information about what's available. Okay. And that's that photo so when he won the Goulburn Cup. Yeah. 1996. He was thrilled to bits. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. It's just sad that he's worked so hard and can't enjoy it. <laughs> You're right, Miss Harry. But you're still together? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We're still together against all odds, as they say. <laughs> well, the past's not, not always that good, is it? I mean, it's a bit like the roses, it's a bit thorny at times. <laughs> and you just sort of go with the flow. You get off the phone and you feel, oh, thank God for Catherine, sort of thing. And, you can keep uh, going. Yeah, and she didn't mind whenever I rang her or you could ring her any time and... What would it be like without her? Awful. <laughs> when a word, awful. Yeah, because you had nobody. You had nobody. You might get carers that will thank you for your help, but I really want to thank them because, you know, what an honour and a privilege it is to be able to share their journey. And again, you know, give them the best care, you know, that they so rightly deserve and the best quality of life. I just believe you step by, take one step at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time. Leave it in God's hands and what happens, happens. And with Catherine, I'll be able to cope. <laughs> I loved him. <laughs> and I visited him every day when he was down in the home. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, he's never like, lost the love. No. Yeah, we were married for all, all those years, so you can't push that aside, can you? <laughs>